Time to talk about Pandora Papers. Yet another instance where the wealthy are offshoring their, uh, their profound amounts of wealth, hiding their assets uh, in these uh, shady banks. Of course, while they're in the process of doing that, uh, the weird thing is that the American wealth never gets caught in any of these um in any of these situations is odd weekend the pandora papers a massive investigation of millions of leaked documents from offshore bank accounts detailing how some of the world's wealthy from world leaders to celebrities hide their assets from authorities I gotta pee, and tax back. collectors senior national correspondent terry moran is tracking the story from washington good morning terry Good morning, George. This remarkable report shines a bright light on those international tax havens and financial skullduggery, all of it legal, that the world's super rich use to hide their fortunes from tax collectors, from investigators, and ordinary citizens. It's a bombshell report based on the biggest leak of offshore banking data in history. An investigation should make us all wonder how and why the world's rich and powerful are able to play by different rules that grant them financial and business benefits that the rest of us don't have access to. An international collection of journalists scouring a trove of 11.9 million documents leaked from 14 firms around the world. They claim these files, dubbed the Pandora Papers, blow the lid off the secrets the wealthy use to their advantage. The investigation names more than 130 people listed on the Forbes billionaires list, A-listers like Colombian pop star Shakira. <laughs> and more than 330 current and former public officials from around the world, including Jordan's King Abdullah, who as a ruler has cracked down on corruption and the use of shell companies to hide wealth, using shell companies himself in the Caribbean to buy more than $100 million worth of properties, luxury homes and- By the way, owns $100 million worth of properties in Malibu, dude. That's right, baby, let's go. Malibu, Washington, D. It's because these papers are about offshore tax havens, but the U.S. mega rich don't need those because the ultra rich in the U.S. tax system uh, we have allows you to have a sub minus 1% effective tax rate. Yup. That's right. That's one of the many reasons. And also, there's other additional uh, methods of hiding your assets in different kinds of trust to uh, effectively eliminate all matter. All matter of, uh, uh, of like tax scrutiny and regulation. So that's precisely why the American mega wealthy don't need this kind of fuckery. And then you have me hiding his assets in $3 million mansions. That's right. DC and London. The Royal Palace in Jordan saying in a statement the properties were bought with Abdullah's personal money, not public funds, and kept secret out of security concerns. And the alleged mistress of Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, said to be from a humble background, Svetlana Krivonogik reportedly acquired an apartment building in Monaco worth over four million dollars just after alleged. I mean, <laughs> the funny thing about Putin is that like every time this shit comes out, which is also partially why I think, like, some of this information is, like, maybe low-key backed a little bit by, you know, the American State Department revealing some of this information. Because, like, every time this happens, Vladimir Putin's best friend and his pianist instructor has $150 million in assets uh, that were uncovered in the Panama Papers. And you're like, what? Like, Vladimir Putin's best friend who happens to be a famous pianist? Like, what is going on? And it's always like, that's so weird that all of Putin's best friends have like an ungodly amount of assets that they've like, uh, that they've parked in these offshore banks. You're such a conspiracy, Andy, conspiracy theory, Andy. I personally don't think that any sort of uh, genuine harm to material power or its influence or to, to capital, like to, to those who own a profound amount of capital or their interests would ever occur without America's go-ahead. Also, there is no conspiracy here. Vladimir Putin 100% does hide. Uh, he's one of the richest... Uh, he's one of the richest people on the fucking planet. And all of his homies have, like, billions of dollars for some weird reason. So, it's not exactly a conspiracy theory. That stuff is, like, actually... 
that stuff is just actually normal and real, and you're watching it currently. Giving birth to Putin's daughter, now a teenager, who Russian investigative sites report strongly resembles Putin. A Kremlin spokesman did not respond to a request for comments submitted by international journalists. According to the documents, many of the bank accounts used were registered in well-known offshore havens, the British Virgin Islands, Hong Kong, and Belize. But the report claims that massive fortunes are also sheltered by trust companies based right here in the U.S., in states like South Dakota, Nevada, and Delaware, where anemic transparency laws allow the- I was about to say, and that's the reason why you don't really need the offshore shit, too. Like, we, we have, we've decided, you know- we're not going to bring back domestic manufacturing, but the one thing we will bring back is we should be, we should be hiding assets in the United States of America. Why would we hide these assets uh, elsewhere? Bring back better. The rich to keep their financial records shrouded in secrecy. The Pandora Papers really blows open this narrative of the offshore system existing somewhere else and shows that the United States, many say hypocritically, is actually part of the offshore problem and not part of the solution. So where are the wealthiest Americans, the Jeff Bezos's, Bill Gates? Financial experts say that they tend to pay such low tax rates anyway in the United States, they don't use tax havens as much, although they do use some, just not the ones in these papers. TJ? <laughs> wow, Terry, thank you so much. Well, hey. Now let's take a deeper dive, a closer look into the Pandora Papers by uh, the Washington Post. All right, that's right. Uh, Jeff Bezos never gets caught in this shit, dude. It's wild. I mean, it, it, I guess it doesn't really matter because, like, a lot of his wealth is tied to his assets, and a lot of his assets are, you know, more so just, uh, it's not exactly liquid. Which banned Facebook? Why are you guys keep saying that? Like, he doesn't need to. For years, some of the world's richest people have hidden their wealth in prominent offshore tax havens in places like the Bahamas or Belize. Now a new investigation reveals the involvement that the United States and prominent world leaders have in the secret of world. There are a thousand and one different ways to describe a tax haven. It's generally considered as a country or a jurisdiction where you can put your money and avoid paying taxes where you made your money. A team of reporters from the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, The Washington Post, and hundreds of reporters around the world unearthed secrets from millions of documents. The Pandora Papers show how the ultra-rich- By the way, the last time this shit happened, the main person who cracked this in the Panama Papers was uh, murdered by a car bomb and powerful move their money around the globe. It is the largest collaboration of journalists ever organized by the ICIJ. We have emails, passport copies, bank statements that show how presidents, kings, princesses, billionaires, and criminals hide and move money. There are more than 11.9 million documents that reveal the holdings of powerful foreign figures, including the King of Jordan and a woman widely Zuckerberg is live right now? Acting without hearing a lot of important perspectives. Wait, what? And, you know, the toll on, on soldiers and their families and our national psyche was, was severe, yet most of us felt like we were powerless to do anything about it. Bro, that's crazy that they just, like, build fake shit so quick. He considered to be the girlfriend of Russian President Vladimir Putin. It's like when Twitch has those, like, random channels pop up like elon musk crypto trillionaire quadrillionaire grind set and then like it's just like botting viewers and it's a crypto scam that's what you guys got caught the up united in. states through some very liberal laws in places like alaska south dakota nevada and delaware have really become go-to tax havens uh, for global clients austin show raid oh my god Oh my god. What's going on? Welcome, welcome, Austin Show Raiders. I haven't seen an Austin Show raid in this channel in so long. Hopefully that just chatting with Rambo situation went uh fine and, and exciting. Uh we are currently looking at the Pandora papers. Hope you guys had a good stream, by the way. Minecrafters. Uh, don't run away. Don't worry. Uh, we are very woke here. Okay. I'm sure you guys already know this though. 
Um, Facebook is down. Instagram, WhatsApp are all no longer working. For those of you who are unfamiliar, we've already covered that. Welcome to the Minecraft Raiders. Um, you know, I, I even did a TikTok earlier because uh, Facebook is down. So I was like, all right, time to move my talents over to South Beach, a.k.a. TikTok. But uh, right now we are looking at the Pandora Papers. An international consortium of investigative journalists got together and figured out that a lot of the wealthy people have been hiding their assets in offshore accounts in, in tax havens all around the world. Uh, this happened in the past with the Panama Papers. And that is what we are looking into currently. American politicians and lawmakers have long criticized tax havens in smaller countries. You've got a building in the Cayman Islands where 12,000 companies supposedly are located. Now, that's either the biggest uh, building in the world or the biggest tax ripoff in the world. That was 2007. 14 years later, if you want to protect your money, Sioux Falls, South Dakota has become a place to go. All of these trust companies, they are managing billions of dollars in assets for customers all over the world. You just wouldn't expect it. This building, which is in the city's downtown, now houses close to $100 billion in assets from foreign millionaires and billionaires, including some who have been accused in their home countries of fraud, bribery, human rights abuses, and other wrongdoings, either personally or through their companies. Like Horst Happel, an orange juice industrialist from Brazil. In 2016, Happel and others paid an $88 million settlement to the Brazilian government for allegedly colluding to underpay local farmers. He set up a trust in the Midwestern state in 2017. So did the family of Carlos Morales Troncoso, the former vice president of the Dominican Republic who ran... This is, this is cool, man. We're just like, why are we letting the Cayman Islands make money off this offshore and when we could do it ourselves, baby? We got some artisanal, ethical, domestically manufactured offshore and happening inshore. That's right. I'm calling it inshoring. No shore to be, no shore to be seen in South Dakota. Central Romana, a sugar company accused of human rights abuses. Morales set up his trust in the Bahamas. And after his death, it was transferred to South Dakota for the benefit of his daughters. His daughters, through an attorney, said they have never been involved in Central Romana's operations. And after this, we'll head to South Dakota yes. Trust Company and take them off on that one. Okay. South Dakota is one of a handful of states with some of the most liberal regulations for offshore accounts in the world. This is a state that hasn't been traditionally wealthy. And so when lawyers proposed to lawmakers in South Dakota to change legislation. Big words, my little brain can't. Oh my God, dude. It's like Minecraft, there's such a funny way of writing stuff on the internet. Inflation to turn South Dakota into a tax haven. Many of these lawmakers were convinced that jobs and money would follow. Our investigation has shown that that's far from being the case. U.S. law requires trust companies to confirm the identities of clients, but it provides little guidance on who to accept and who to turn away. The Pandora Papers also expose how U.S. citizens move their money outside the country while facing criminal investigations or costly lawsuits. This is where Glenn Godfrey comes in. His companies in Belize have set up trusts, bank accounts, and corporations for an alleged murderer, a high-profile child sex offender, a mob associate connected to the Colombo crime family in New York, and a self-described constitutionalist who solicited the murder of a judge, a prosecutor, and an IRS agent. Godfrey has not responded to multiple requests for comment. It's very difficult for prosecutors to track money offshore for all kinds of reasons. A lack of cooperation from the governments of tax havens uh, like Belize um, to uh, just not having the time or the resources. Tax havens are legal. For example, businesses use them to reduce their tax burden and countries use them to spur investment. But sometimes trusts are used for improper reasons and for criminal activity. Tax havens in and of themselves are legal, but tax havens have been used over the years for illegal purposes, for hiding money from authorities, avoiding taxes that you owe, parking illicit gains from white collar crime, or for politicians to I'm just saying it's always weird it's always weird when there's no americans there's no like big wealthy americans in these uh offshore papers man it's wild i guess they're just not doing anything wrong you know
disguise payments that are part of corruption. So while it might not be illegal in every case, it's highly problematic in terms of ethics and it's highly problematic in terms of the growing rift of inequality that we see around the world. The Pandora Papers also show world leaders and their loyal circles participating and benefiting from this secretive system. Jordan's King Abdullah II is one of them. Over the past decade, as billions of dollars in American aid poured into his country, a secret stream of money flowed in the opposite direction. Companies associated with Abdullah spent millions to buy extravagant homes in the United States. We were able to show that King Abdullah has secretly bought compounds in Malibu or overlooking the Potomac River in Georgetown and in London, and that he has spent more than $100 million in secret over the past 10 or 11 years on lavish properties that are unknown to the people of his country. Abdullah's lawyers said their client did not misuse any public funds or foreign assistance. Another person benefiting from the secretive system is a Russian shop cleaner. Previously undisclosed financial records, combined with local tax documents, show that Svetlana Krivonalkik became the hidden owner of a luxury condominium in Monaco nearly 20 years ago, just months after giving birth to a girl. The child was born at a time when she was in a secret, years-long personal relationship with Russian President Vladimir Putin, according to a 2020 Russian media report. Когда мы нашли соцсети Елизаветы, то последние сомнения в том, кем друг другу приходились Владимир Путин и Светлана Кривоногих, отпали. Такого сходства мы не ожидали. She, within months of giving birth to this girl, uh, came into possession of a shell company which owned a pretty impressive apartment overlooking the Mediterranean in Monte Carlo. A Kremlin spokesman did not respond to a request for comments submitted by the ICIJ on behalf of the Post and other partner media organizations in the Pandora project. Krivino Geek has not spoken about her alleged relationship. Bro, just normal, just normal things, dude. I don't understand. Just uh, normal stuff. Totally valid, totally reasonable. Having some fun. Having a shell company. Like, what's up? Relationship with Putin. My man. They really want to keep Putin down. They just, they don't, they don't want him to f his, uh, he, he's too sexy. Okay. He's going to come. Or her accumulation of wealth. She did not respond to requests for comment. It's estimated that corporations and the super wealthy have stashed away as much as $32 trillion, untaxed or at a very low rate. This does not include real estate, art, and jewels. That's more than the United States' total gross domestic product in 2020, and more than 10 times the current U.S. budget deficit. I wonder why there's no U.S. politicians were in the papers. Ukraine has the highest number of politicians named in the Pandora Papers among the hundreds of politicians and public officials from 91 countries. Not one single person from the United States. Interesting. Yeah, it's, it's so weird. It's so strange. I wonder what that's about. There's no Americans because America doesn't even attempt to tax the rich. Well, there's a couple different reasons. One, because yes, America is already like the functional tax rate for uh, those billionaires who oftentimes just uh, have all of their assets tied to their business uh, and aren't uh, super liquid personally. And for the most part have like lines of credit that uh, they can endlessly open considering that like, you know, they're the wealthiest people on the planet uh, and that it that doesn't get taxed. Um, which is also known as the infinite money glitch. Like, so aside from the fact that the US tax code is like very good if you're a billionaire or a capital owner in general, and it's very bad if you're a worker, obviously. Um, we also have our own internal tax uh, uh, havens. The other reason why I believe that this kind of stuff always comes out, including the uh, Panama Papers, is that they just effectively uh, always, I don't know, go after ones that don't have American uh, users. You know what I mean? Yeah, we have Delaware Jack. How do you approach someone who thinks anything negative about Putin is just propaganda? I'm literally asking for a misinformed friend. What? Dude, I, I don't even know what to tell you about that. Like, I mean, I meme about Vladimir Putin a lot, but like, I, I hope people don't think that like, you know, I mean, I, I think he's hot.
like when he's shirtless and stuff hey if you like this video please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos <laughs>